Are you any better? I don't know. There's something going on in my head. It's all to do with Ian and me. But something else. It's something I only half know about. Like what, Jen? It's something I've half forgotten. Jen, you're tired. You're worn out. You're going to have to go and see a doctor tomorrow. No! I'm not going to go and see any doctors. Hey, come on. What's up, love? I must find out. Find out what? Who I am. Oh, don't be dark, Jen. You know who you are. You're Jenny McLean. This afternoon, in the cemetery, I've been there before. Very likely. I've been there in a previous existence. Oh, come on, Jenny. Jenny, darling, sit down. Come on now. When you hypnotised me the other night, you unlocked something inside me. Ever since then, I've had flashes of different scenes, different happenings, a different me. You mean you remember what happened when you were being hypnotised? Everything. Gavin never told me to forget, did he? No. No, I didn't. I keep remembering other things, too. I've got to go back. You want me to hypnotise you again? I must go back to my previous self. Look, I don't know, Jen. You didn't enjoy it much the last time. It's important. I'll never know what killed Ian if I don't. Mom! I need your help. What's wrong? It's Jenny. What about her? Look, it's all gone wrong and I don't know what to do. What's gone wrong? Who's Jenny? Jenny's the girlfriend of the boy burned to death. Have you been playing around with hypnosis again? She insisted. Well, last night she asked me to regress her again. She begged me. She went right back to the 16th century. Called herself Effie McCallion and started rambling on about being accused of witchcraft. Witchcraft? She kept talking about the devil and King James coming to a kirk. North Berwick. It started getting really nasty. She thinks she's one of the North Berwick witches. She said she was being burned at the stake. Oh, no. She was in a terrible state, weeping and mourning and carrying on. You suspected this and said nothing. Where is she now? We've told the police. They've ordered all their patrols to keep a lookout for her. What did you tell them? No, nothing more than they could understand, that she's ill, emotionally disturbed, likely to be in danger. So now what do we do? Wait. I don't think there's much I can contribute by hanging around here. I'm going back to the office to do some work. What about you? I think I'll hang on here for a bit. Me too. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night, Roy. Thanks. Thanks for your help. All right. It's Jenny's or Alison's. It's Jenny's, why? Just wondered.
tone. Tom, what are you doing? Remember that woman's body we found in Felgate? How I got the images? She was dead. Yeah. Uh, you don't think that... No, I don't. Just let me concentrate. Concentrate? She... She... I don't know. It's very odd. What? I keep getting a picture of an angel. An angel? And death. Oh, just death. Oh, God. Who's dead, Tom? Everyone. It's no good. I'm just imagining things. Don't make any sense out of it. There's precious little sense in this whole affair. True. I should start expecting to make sense out of anything now is beyond me. A cemetery. What? Well, everyone's dead in a cemetery, aren't they? And your angel. There was a big car... A tombstone. Next to Ian's grave yesterday. Yes. <laughs> 